I'm going to show some high-speed videos and sound recordings of the courtship displays of a black-chin, broad-tailed hummingbird hybrid. He's an adult male that had a territory in the Davis Mountains of West Texas. We put a stuffed mount on his feeder. Here, he's performing a shuttle display to it in real time. I'll play the sounds that he made, although they're not synced with this video. The buzzing sound that you just heard was made by his wings. This is a high-speed video slowed down 20 times. As you can see and hear, the display is impressive. He's slapping his wings almost 70 times a second when he starts each shuttle segment. His iridescent pink gorget is flared out to catch the light. He also performed a couple dives, although we did not manage to get video. This is a sketch of his trajectory. At the bottom of the dive, he made this sound. This is the black chin hummingbird's dive. The buzzing sound you'll hear is made by the wings, while the toot 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 is made with the tail. And here is the broad-tailed hummingbird's dive. The trill is made by the wings, while the rapid eh, eh, eh sound in the middle is made by the tail. What's interesting about this hybrid is that its parent species make sounds with different parts of their tails during the dive. The black chin hummingbird makes with its R5 tail feather, the one on the top line with an arrow. The broad-tailed hummingbird makes with R2, shown on the bottom with an arrow. Yet, when we listen to the dive sounds of the hybrid, the sounds are similar to the black chin hummingbird, and not the broad-tailed. So, we tested the tail feathers in a wind tunnel. This is an ultra-high-speed video of the broad-tailed hummingbird R2 as it flutters at around 500 hertz. This is the sound it was making in the tunnel. And, to remind you, this is the dive sound. The sound the feather makes in the wind tunnel matches the pulses of sound in the broad-tailed hummingbird's dive. This is R2 from the hybrid. The fluttering looks different from the broad-tailed hummingbird, even though the frequency is about the same. And it didn't make the same buzzing sound. Here's a sound we did record, which is basically just the background sound of the wind tunnel. So, despite the dramatic fluttering, the feather made little sound. Finally, here's the hybrid's R5 in the wind tunnel, and here's the quiet sound that it made. The tone, although quiet, was the same as the tone made during the dive. The black chin hummingbird's R5 makes the same sound, although perhaps a bit louder. So, though the hybrid's tail morphology was intermediate between the parent species, the tail made sounds similar to the black chin hummingbird and not the broad-tailed. The difference seems to be the way in which the feathers flutter. A hybrid's R2 can flutter, but it doesn't result in much sound, while R5 can flutter and produce sound. This is Chris Clark, showing videos and sound recordings of a hybrid hummingbird. <laughs> 